Okay, so it's Sunday, July 31st, 2022, and I think for this video I'm going to do what I did last week because I know, at least when I watch um, kind of like update videos for someone who's making lifestyle changes that affect their weight or body, I like them to just get to the point and uh, show the video. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do my measurements and show the video and then I will come back and talk a little bit about the week. Overall, I think this week was a good week. So I have no idea. I haven't really been focused too much on how my weight has been changing. I've been weighing myself, but not really paying too much attention. So we'll just um, see what happened this week. Okay, so I just filmed like five minutes and realized that I hadn't pushed record. So here we go. Um, I had talked about how my roommate uh, had watched one of my videos and he thought it was awkward that I was doing this like come down and then go back up, but I don't care. I'm not going to change it because I don't want to move my camera up and down every time I like come to talk to the camera and stand up. So if you're annoyed with that, like he was, I'm sorry, but, um, so yeah, I'll just show what I look like again. And so I don't feel like there's been much of a change, um, the weight has been it's gone up and down quite a bit throughout the week if I remember right but it's still set at, it settled about at 154 I think the last three days um, the weight has been at 154 which again with this whole thing like I'm not I'm comfortable at this weight like I can move around just fine and I'm comfortable but I just over the year, over the past couple of years, my weight has been like creeping up and up and up. And um, I just wanna try to find some way to have my lifestyle where it's something that I'm not, I've never really dieted very much. So I just wanna find something I can eat in a way that I can eat that's just like sustainable for the rest of my life. Like I don't want to have to always be like worried about my weight or worried about my health in the future so I'm trying to do it right now where I'm still fairly healthy figure out a way to do it anyway anyway if you've seen my videos I've already talked about that but yeah I have mentioned my arms are feeling um a lot more toned this week this is the first week that I've really started feeling like my arms are getting solid. My legs have felt that way for a long time like for over a month for two months since I first really started doing the daily routine that I've been doing but now my arms are really starting to feel it and I what has changed is I've added some more reps into my um the upper body portion of my workout and it was not a major change so if you watch the video where I go through the routine that I'm doing I'm doing that same routine but just at the end um I think I added 10 reps of an extra tricep like kickback that I do and then I added just more reps at the end. Before I wasn't burning out, I was just doing like 10 or 20 reps of just curls. And now I've added to just, I do them until it's it's pretty tough to keep doing them. And I, I do think it's had an impact on my arms. I don't know if it's showing yet, but I can feel it. Um, so yeah, I'll just go into, I'll, I'll take off my pants and uh, show what I look like. Um, in my bra and underwear real quick. Okay, so it looks the exact same to me as it does pretty much every week. So uh, here we go. So the front side. See, it's like in my pants, I feel like my butt is looking like firmer and bigger, but I don't, I don't know if that's actually happening. <laughs> Because then when I see myself, like, without pants on, I don't know if it's because, you know, you've got the little bit of cellulite and all that stuff that it doesn't look like there's quite as much of a progress, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, I feel, I feel it the most when I sit with for my lower body workouts is in my thighs. I don't know if I'm not doing my thrusters right or whatever, but I feel it just my thighs feel freaking solid and maybe that's what was showing up because when I'd done my measurements before it seems like even if I was losing in my waist and other areas my thighs actually got bigger over that time that I was doing the fasting um but yeah let me just um jump to the measurements real quick 
So yeah, last week when I was eating a lot of calories, because I, you know, I'd come off the alternate day fasting, and then I think that week that I came off the fasting, I was just like, whatever, I'm gonna eat everything. And then also my roommate was like really in like a feeding phase. And so we were both just like playing off of each other, wanting to eat a lot. And so I think we ate a lot. And uh, my chest, I feel like my chest has gotten smaller over this last week since I've just kind of cut back on eating just like all the time or, or as much as I was eating. Um, but actually in this bra, this bra feels kind of tight. It's not the exact same one as last week. So, but I don't know. I feel in my other bras that I wear every day, um, the ones I wear every day are a little bit different and I, I feel like they're getting a little bit looser. So I guess we will see, see if that's the case. So I'll start with the band here. Okay. So this is a little bit awkward, I guess, having to bend down here. But where's that at? This is the hardest one because I can't see below my chest to to measure it. What is that? Or I could just oh my gosh, I can just like mark it here. Okay, so it's about 32. Did I mess up last week? Cause last week I marked it as 33. Okay, so 32. Yeah, maybe I just messed up last week. Or maybe I just gain and lose in my, like, back fat and chest. I don't know. Because that's not even my chest. It's below. Whatever. Okay, let's do around the top. And I had gained <laughs> last week. But I feel it. Like I said, like, that's where I'm fortunate, I think, that when I initially, like, gain weight, I gain it in my chest. I don't think I've mentioned this, but back in my younger days, I actually worked at Hooters and um, I thought that my boss was gonna say something to me because I was like noticeably gaining weight, but the weight was so disproportionate in my chest. One day he said something to me, but he he was like, your chest is getting bigger. And I was like, oh, thank God he didn't notice that the rest of me is getting bigger too. But um, anyway, that's beside the point. So this one is still, <laughs> actually I think it got bigger, but that can't be right. Okay, no, it, it got a little bit smaller. So last week I have it marked at 37 and a quarter, and here it's marked at 37. So it is just a little bit smaller, but it had been down um, to 36 on those weeks that I was alternate day fasting. So it was just 37. Okay, next we'll do the waist. Last week it was 35. Yeah, it's the same, I think. 35. Is that right? Or is it a little bit bigger? I think it's 35 and a quarter, actually, for the waist today. I'm just gonna mark that 35 and a quarter. get this for I feel like this is probably pretty boring <laughs> but especially since I wasn't really like actively trying to do anything this week and I my roommate was talking to me about this about my hips and he was like honestly like he's like your hips are just like so big I don't think my hips will really get below like two small because like I just have big hips so there's like a little bit of room in here with a little bit of but I mean my hips are just big naturally so 
I don't think they're gonna get like extremely small, which I'm fine with that. So it looks like it's at 43. What did I say it was last week? Actually, 42 and a quarter. I think is what that's at. Somewhere between that and 43. <laughs> or 42 and, and three quarters. Wait, is that right? Last week I had it as 43 and a half. I might have put 43. I think maybe I was squeezing the tape just a little bit. I don't know. 43. I'll, I'll put a little note that it might be 42 and three quarters. Um, I might bite. There we go. Knee crease. Where are you? And then go up six inches. I don't know if this is actually how you're supposed to do this, but seems to work for me to keep it consistent. Oh, did I lose a little bit on my thigh? Yeah, it looks like maybe it's 22 and three qu quarters right now, or 21 and three quarters right now. So that's what I'm gonna write. What was it last week? No way. I've got to be doing this wrong. There's no way I lost an inch last week. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. Hmm. Whatever. Um, so... There's my measurements. <laughs> and I think I'm going to, I've been tracking really well my meals and stuff this week and my like activity. And so I think I'm going to hop onto my fitness pal and just take a recording showing kind of like how my calories have changed over the last few weeks and talk a little bit about my plans for what I wanna do kind of um, going forward so do that real quick okay so I'm probably just gonna switch between my fitness pal and my Fitbit to talk about my calories and my weight so here's the main page of my fitness pal and if you click on that big circle back here where it has the calories um It'll show you your calorie intake for the last week and it will give you your um, daily average is what I've been looking at is this this daily average. And I also adjusted my goal to, I think my goal weight that I have set here now is 150 and um, I put it at a slow loss of like 0.5 pounds a week. And so it brought the goal up to 1920. And so what I've set a goal for myself for the next month is to just try to keep it under 2,000 calories. And so I did that this week, actually. And so you can see so far the daily average is 12.01. And um, compared to last week, I'm a little embarrassed to show this, but it was close to 3,000 calories was the average for last week. So yeah, there were some days that I was eating, you know, well over 3,000 calories um, and other days less, but never below 2,000 calories. It looks like every day was, you know, at least a little bit above 2,000 calories. And then contrast that with my alternate day fasting. And so this one, even though like Monday and Wednesday, it shows just a little bit, um, that was where I was kind of like struggling with it. And I had looked up that on alternate day fasting, you could have like less than 400 calories and it would still be considered a fast. Um, and so I would eat just, I ate just a little bit on a couple of those days, but even then, see, look at this. I had eaten close to 3,200 calories on Tuesday. And so my daily average was 1451. And so, yeah. So even when I was fasting, you know, not eating or eating very little, um, on some of the days, uh, 
the daily average was more than what I'm doing, just like cutting my calories or just watching my calories, really. I'm not like actively cutting. And so, yeah, here was the other day where I was really keeping up with the fasting, but here it closed, I had close to 3,600 calories one day. And so my daily average was 1,870. And then here early on, I was eating fewer calories and wasn't going as crazy early on in the alternate day fasting. So it was 1,366. And here was 976 that first week that I did it, I believe. Yeah. And that week, it was just, I, I mentioned in the first video, like, I just felt like eating less was easier for me that week. And so it just wasn't really that hard for me to, to do it. Um, and I'm actually feeling that way this week. So maybe that's why this week has been a little bit easier for me to keep my calories down low. So I guess we'll just see what happens throughout the week. Like maybe I'll experience the same thing that I did with the alternate day fasting where when you get like two or three weeks from now, I'm going to be eating a lot more calories just because I'm hungrier. So I guess we'll just see what happens. So there's like a breakdown of my um, calories for the last couple of weeks, but let's look at my weight. <laughs> uh, where are we at? There we go. So here is my weight for the last 30 days. And you can see those ups and downs a lot with my alternate day fasting. Because uh, it was. It was going up and down. And I thought it was trending down. And then it just like kind of was going back up towards the end. And then this is where uh, towards the, the right here. It's just been kind of steady. Um, so... Yeah, today was 154.8, 154. So it has come down, I guess. Let's see. What from 156 it came down to 154. But man, look at Wednesday. It went up to 158. I'm not sure what the deal was on that. But yeah, so that week that I ate a lot from the 17th through the 23rd, it went from 152 to 156. So I don't know, just gonna keep keep doing it and seeing seeing what happens here. Okay, so yeah, that's a recap. There's my measurements, um, a recap of what I've been eating and my weights. And I think I'm gonna start doing that every week. And I also I don't know what to like how to organize this on my channel, so I think I'm just gonna like make a name for these weekly update videos and just number them and so I'm going to go back and change the titles for the alternate day fasting because it's not just like I don't want to have like a diet and I'm I don't want to be one of those channels that just goes through a bunch of fad diets and uh you know it was just constantly doing that sort of thing I want to try to find something that's sustainable and actually if you watch all the way through this video I came to this realization uh today so like i've got i'm gonna post my vlog of the week on here so you can kind of so this video is going to be really long um but if you're interested in just kind of seeing my progression throughout the week you can stay tuned after this but yeah like this morning i just came to this realization because i made another video about my clothes and how what i wear has evolved to the point that for simplicity and to make my life less stressed, I wear pretty much the same thing every day. It makes my laundry easier. It makes my life easier. And I was like, why don't I just do that with my diet? Like, why don't I just find something to eat? Like, a meal plan every day and I know this wouldn't be for most people like I know most people like a lot of variety and you know whenever you're going out to eat different places and I feel like that could be built in but just on a day-to-day -day basis where you're just what you eat on a normal day like what if I could find just something that would work that I wouldn't get tired of that has the right nutrition and the right calories to where I can just get to a weight that I like to be, that I like to eat, that will just simplify my life. Because I already don't have to think about my clothes anymore, and that's made my life easier. What if I just didn't have to think about food? And so I think maybe that's going to be what this, what 
my not this channel because I feel like I just this channel I just want it to be like whatever I feel like talking about which is what I've been posting already um basically and I don't think I'm gonna change that like I don't think I'm gonna just center it into one lane um but at least for my weekly updates I think for the short term it's gonna focus on building my diet in a way that's sustainable for me to continue with at some point it's going to be the bodybuilding but um that's gonna be i'm thinking like early next year uh so maybe like january is when i'm really gonna like hone in and focus and start training and just seeing what i can do with my body in terms of changing my my diet and everything but if i can get like a set diet to where i'm sitting at and then whenever i start training then i can start like changing stuff that's probably gonna make training a lot easier so yeah so for the rest of the year i'm gonna try to just get stabilized in a diet that i'm comfortable with um and then when i start training if i start needing to like shift up macros like adding more protein in um or carbs to give me more energy to work out we'll play around with it then but anyway it's just some things i've been thinking about and so um i feel great this week uh i'll just i just want to put that out there and it may just be my hormone cycle but i've gotten a lot done um my brain felt pretty clear for work and school and i've been productive and just i i feel good like my body itself feels really good um I feel overall more toned even if the measurements aren't showing it or the scale isn't showing it like just how I feel personally I feel really fit this week so I'm I'm happy with the diet the way it's been I guess I didn't talk that much about what foods I've been eating so you can watch the rest of the video to see what I filmed but basically some of the days I went and had lunch with my roommate and I would have some of his sushi because he would order like three sushi rolls and normally he would eat like two two full rolls and maybe like one or two pieces and I would eat the rest. Some days I ate the rest. Some days I just had onion soup. Um, and then at night I had a bunch of pre-prepared purple carrot meals that I just had to heat up in the microwave so that was super easy and so every night I would have one of those and then I would just eat what I felt like in terms of fruit um I had some jars of this dairy-free yogurt I think I ate one of those almost every night but I've run out now but um yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do for my diet next week actually because I think I only have like one or two purple carrot meals left so I'm gonna figure that out later today and then I guess I'll just make videos and show um throughout the week what I've decided to do so here's my post for this week and uh yeah I um you can stay and watch the rest of the vlog for the week or just check back in next week if you're interested in following I don't even know what you would call it it's not whatever whatever I'm doing here so um Okay, so it is Monday the 25th of July and I just got finished with my steps. It's almost 7. So I woke up again before 5, but I just get distracted. I need to get back on. Used to I had this routine where I would get up and I would put on these couple of like short, brief news podcast things. And um... I don't know, I guess those were just slightly boring enough that I would just keep moving and not, you know, be listening to them in the background but not paying too close attention and still able to get my stuff done quickly. So I guess I need to get back to that in the morning instead of getting distracted by other things. Just put on my news and just go. Um, but anyway, um, the goal is to get started with work by 8 <laughs> and so if I get home and I start my little like routine get my coffee made get my workout done do my journaling meditation all that I should be able to start by 8 which is the goal for all of this week 
hopefully most of the rest of the year because I think if I could just get that little piece of my routine down then that's gonna help me like even more you know than all of the other things that I've done so I'm just like slowly building on my habits <laughs> to try to get my life together in a way that will help me like move forward without as much stress and anxiety so yeah that's what I'm gonna do last night picked out had fast food um, Trey did as well but we made like an agreement that today starting today Monday um, we're going to just stick to like more healthy stuff no fast food, no processed food. Um, so that's what that's what we're gonna do. So my plan today is because he does come in and eat sushi all the time, and I know that's gonna be like a um, you know whenever he comes in and eats sushi, I'm gonna want to eat some. So I haven't taken that off my plate. I've just been like, okay, if he comes in the afternoon, he has leftover sushi, I will eat that. And then at night. I will eat my purple carrot meal and I will eat throughout the day as much fruit as I want. <laughs> so we've got some pineapple, we've got apples, we've got oranges, we've got mixed berries, um, just all kinds of fruit in the house. So um, that's basically my meal plan. I've already got all of my purple carrot meals like put into my fitness pal so that's taken out the extra step of having to search them you know and enter them every night and then what else have I done so yeah I mean that's the plan I'm that's I may I do have some of the mini sodas <laughs> and I may or may not um, have one soda a day one of those mini sodas but I don't know we'll see how it goes that's the plan for this week I'm just gonna no processed food no fast food I'm just gonna eat my purple carrot meals and whatever sushi leftovers he has and then fruit so we'll see how it goes this week but I feel like I'm in the mindset to, to do it so um, I think it should be pretty good so it's seven o'clock now. So I'm gonna get in there and get going and hopefully finish up this paper today. And then I've got a lot of homework this week. So if I can get to work by 8 a.m. every single day, um, I should be able to make a lot of progress on my homework and finish up my class, the final. We have like a week to take the final and it opens on Friday, so. Yeah, I want to get all of my coursework done and then study this weekend for the final and then maybe I'll just go ahead and take it Sunday and get it out of the way. I have until the 5th of August to take it, but I just kind of want to get it over with, I guess. So we'll see. Hopefully I have a productive week. I think I will. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's Tuesday, July 26th, I believe. It's about six o'clock in the morning, so that means by the time I get to the gym and get my steps and everything, it's gonna be after seven when I get home. So we'll see. I think I can still, I think I should still be able to wrap everything up and get to work by eight. Um, I've already done actually my thrusters because I don't know like I'm struggling a little not struggling by any means, but I Haven't been feeling like well, I guess this happened about a month ago Or so where I'm not feeling like doing my little extra workout at home 
and what I found is that breaking it up a little bit <laughs> instead of doing it all in one which I don't know maybe it's better to do it all in one but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do the thrusters before I go to the gym and then whenever I get home I normally will put on the coffee and while the coffee's brewing I think I'll try to get my squats and my plank and then when I go in my room to get ready to um, journal then I'll do my uh, my arm workout and I think if I just break it up a little bit like that it makes it more manageable because there's been several days that I've done the squats and the plank like while the coffee's brewing so I kind of feel like you know I'm multitasking there so and it just seems easier for some reason to do it then instead of to do everything all at once when I get in my room um, so yeah I've already got my thrusters done today I'm gonna get my steps I've got some things to read for school this is like the most behind I've been well I'm not behind but this is since I've started my class and really since I've started this new routine of like reading my class stuff at the gym um, this is the latest I've gotten to like doing the assignments but also like I was going to look at doing the assignment last weekend but my teacher didn't post the problem sets um, until a little bit later and so like I should have done it this weekend but I didn't but um, anyway it doesn't look too bad like the assignment that I have to do for this week the problem set is kind of short and um, I don't think it'll be too hard to do especially after I do these readings again I've already read the readings I'm just gonna reread them um, get that fresh on my mind again I guess and try to get the problem sets done I think I can do them on Wednesday um, I just need to get it done but yeah anyway I don't have too much to talk about today I guess uh, as as far as the diet I did great yesterday um, I should have filmed it but I didn't uh, but Trey brought sushi home and so I ate just, I didn't even eat like a full roll. I ate like six pieces of sushi and I had him bring me a salad. And then for dinner, I didn't eat anything the rest of the day. I was craving some soda a couple times. And then I just kept, I was really busy yesterday. And like sometimes my roommate, I, we call it needy, but it's just like, sometimes like he's cool like he's just out focused on his work I'm focused on my work but then there are like times of the month where each of us are kind of needy for attention <laughs> like he doesn't want to work he wants to talk and he's like really amped up about things and excited and he wants to talk to me and I just felt so bad because yesterday was not the day for that for me I had so much work to get done and I was wanting to finish that paper yesterday and he just kept coming in and like, hey, come check this out. Hey, this, yeah. And I, um, you know, I knew he wanted to talk and I felt so bad, but like, it's hard for me whenever I get in like a role, like whenever I focus, I have to stay focused, but like stopping and starting is just really hard for me. I, I'll do like hours long focus and so that was kind of hard and I didn't really get everything done that I wanted to yesterday, but I'm the same way to him at times. Like there's certain times that I'm just always like coming in and bugging him. And I just wish our times would sync up, but uh, so far it hasn't, but it's okay. Um, normally it wouldn't be a bad thing if I wasn't so busy. Um, but yeah, he got all moved into his house yesterday. Like we were just waiting. He had ordered a recliner um, because he, it's a tiny home and he has like the bedroom. He's using that for his office to work out of. And then he was thinking about getting like a small bed and putting it in the living room area. But we ended up, 
I got a chair to put in there for myself. It's a really cool chair actually. Um, so when I come over, I have a place to sit. And then he bought like a really nice recliner. So we figured that would be like kind of an in-between. So if he needed to, he still has a bed at my place. Um, so he's been sleeping there still, but it's just, I've got a room cleared up now that he was using as an office. So he had one of my rooms, I have three bedrooms. And so I have the one bedroom for like my office and my room. And then um, there was another room that was like kind of our bedroom and TV room. And then he had his office and in another room. And um, so now that room is cleared out and I've turned it's just I would have to show it I guess like it's kind of hard to explain but maybe one day I'll show like I'll do like a house tour um and just show you the different rooms and and then show you the tiny home um but yeah his recliner is really nice and so I figure like during the day he can nap in the recliner sometimes because he likes to nap throughout the day and then um Yeah, and he got like this really cool surround sound system that didn't cost very much actually. And he that was one thing he got excited about because the surround sound came in and he hooked it up and he wanted to show me the surround sound. Show me, and the recliner came in yesterday. And so there were some like big things happening yesterday. So I understand why, why he was uh, kind of excited. And then, um, yeah, I'm rambling now, but uh, yeah, as far as food, um, we had the lunch, the sushi, and then I didn't eat the rest of the day and I was pretty busy with work. And, um, and then at night, uh, yeah, I just had a purple carrot meal. He had made some lamb. So thankfully, I don't remember if I included it in a video last week, but I was talking about how he bought all this food and then he decided like he didn't want to eat that anymore. And I'm like, oh my gosh, all this food is going to go bad in my fridge, but he's eating up the lamb now and he's buying more lamb because he really slims down whenever he eats lamb anyway 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 I had like a little piece of his lamb and then I had some purple carrot and then I had some yogurt and then some oranges and I think that was it but yeah I'm tracking everything so I'm still keeping up with that so that'll be interesting to see now that I'm like not really really dieting um and just kind of going back to my normal eating to see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to go in and get my steps. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it's about 6.45. I just changed out of my little outfit that I wear every day into some comfortable clothes to sleep in. I'm about to take my sleepy pills and start winding down for bed. Um, uh, roommate and I went out and got sushi today and I haven't eaten anything else besides that. I had coffee, but I've been so busy with work. I'm trying, still trying to get this paper finished. Um, and then I've got like, I have class tomorrow or Thursday. So I'm trying to like get my homework done for that. So it's been one of those weeks where I, I did get hungry a couple of times throughout the day and I also like was tempted to drink a soda because I had I bought like a little case of cokes the other day the mini cokes and I've got them here in a fridge actually in my office and like a little mini fridge and I was tempted to crack one open but I didn't so, so far it's been a few days since I've had sodas and yeah, tonight I'm going to eat another one of my purple carrot meals, probably some yogurt and fruit and then we'll see what else. Maybe if Trey has leftover lamb, I might eat some of his leftovers, but yeah, so far so good. I, I actually, I'm glad to be back on a regular eating routine because, but just a regular routine but also being a little bit more conscious of what I'm eating because with the alternate day fasting I did feel like a pressure to eat a lot or more than I probably would have on those days when I was eating because I wasn't eating the next day but that's just me like I know it works well for some people but 
for me the way I was doing it I don't I don't think it was like a long-term thing but so far so good with this for now so yeah we'll see how it goes for the next two days while I finish up this paper and I finish up all of my homework um yeah so maybe this like vlog is gonna turn into like partial diet and exercise partial I'm trying to get through my PhD type of thing um because I will say I was kind of stressed because this is the first time in a long time that I haven't had my homework assignment done like ahead of time or at least had part of it started but I will say I'm in a better position than I would have been in the past because past me the teacher would give us the assignment and I wouldn't even like read anything or look at the assignment whatsoever until like the day before some cases the night before and even though I'm a little bit stressed that I'm behind in finishing this assignment um, which behind this is still two days well this is like the day before but I've already done all of the readings for the class like I got that done you know a while back and so I already have that and then I've also looked at the assignment um, all of the assignments so I already know like what the assignments are I've been kind of preparing to finish to write the assignment to answer the questions I just haven't like sat down and written my responses out so even though I haven't done my homework yet I have I feel less stressed than I normally would be because I've at least prepared myself for it and in the past I used to tell myself like I don't know I I don't know because I'm a perfectionist like I always felt like if I started too early I would just end up spending a lot of time I don't know what I'm trying to say I feel like I would spend a lot of time working on the assignment that wasn't totally necessary to finish it. Um, what is this person? Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but like this has been like way better. Um, so I feel like I can get my assignment done and it's gonna be okay. I sat down last night and made a to-do list of like everything that I need to do this week, so. I already have a plan for everything. It's just if I can knock everything off my to-do list. But so far the morning is starting out great. Um, I read the papers. The papers that I actually brought in there were related to something I would need to know to answer one of the questions. And I think it's given me, so I have four problem set questions and um, some of them I think are gonna be pretty easy. Um, but there was one that I was kind of like a little bit unsure about so I printed off some articles to read about that And I think I know what I'm gonna answer on the question So it's like even though I haven't answered the questions I've looked at them and I've been kind of like reading stuff to prepare myself So the reading I did yesterday was for one of the four questions the reading it was for a second one And then I've got planned to read something tomorrow to help me answer another one. So um, Yeah I can do it. <laughs> I hope. Um, 
I still got a case study to write, but I've read the information for the case study twice already. Like I read it like two weeks ago um, after I first had the class, just so I would get like a baseline understanding. And then I reread it um, over the weekend. So I just have to write the case study, which I, I get stressed about these because I don't really know what I'm doing. But it seems like the teacher is going to grade pretty easy. So I feel like as long as I do it, it'll be okay but yeah um I felt like I ate a lot last night oh, it's crazy because the calories like man a 1200 calorie diet I feel like that would be so hard um because my calories yesterday were up to like 1700 and I didn't feel like I really ate that bad. Uh, I had sushi um, and some onion soup. And I had my purple carrot meal, which was, I think it was only like 500 calories for that. And then I had uh, some yogurt and a bunch of fruit. I had pineapple. I had some mixed berries. I had a little clementine orange. Um, and some popcorn <laughs> at the end. I got this, um, yeah, I don't even think I ate a full bag of popcorn though, but, and it was like 1700 calories, which is better than like the 3000 calories or the 3500 calories I was eating. So, um, but still, well, this will be interesting just to see. I'm going to keep eating this plan that I have of like potentially sushi for lunch if I feel like it and then purple carrot for dinner and then, you know, fruit and yogurt. I've still got a few more yogurts left. I may cut the yogurt out um, eventually, but I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Actually, I'll just keep eating like this every day and then... I guess I'll just maybe try to keep it under 2,000 calories and see how that goes. I think 1,700 might be good. I don't know. We'll just see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I was heavier today, but I'll need to look back at like my videos to see what week it was that I felt like heavy last time because I felt like, I feel like this may be just my time to just naturally be a little bit heavier hold on to a little bit more water weight i don't know but like i woke up this morning feeling like heavier but anyway i'm gonna get in there and get to work i'm going to start work at eight today i did start at eight yesterday um and i worked pretty much the whole day so um gonna gonna do it <laughs> Okay, so you can't really see me because ugh, my phone holder sucks. But um, because it's four in the morning, um, I went to bed super early last night, like 7.30, sometime between 7.30 and 8 probably. Um, I, uh, As far as the diet, everything's good. Well, I mean, I'm not on a diet, but like, as far as like me not just completely eating 3,000 calories, I was fine yesterday. I was busy with work, so I ended up like not actually eating lunch. And then I had my purple carrot for dinner and some fruit and yogurt. 
and that was fine. And so my roommate has been talking about, I don't know what's on his way. It's so weird. Like it is so hard to watch what you eat while you're living with another person. Like, I think that's really been, you know, like that's, I think that's something that's really important because when I am not living with someone, it seems like I just, I mean, I sit at around like a hundred, honestly, like 125, 130 pounds. And then, but when I'm with someone who's eating constantly, I put on like 20, you know, 20 pounds or so. And it's just, you know, people talk about getting married and the wife like lets herself go. And I don't, I don't think it's that. Like, I don't think it's that they're like trying to be attractive and watch their weight before marriage. And then when they get married, they just feel like they can let themselves go. I think living and I'm not, I am generalizing right now, but I think living with men can hurt some women in terms of how they eat because it seems like men's appetites and the amount that they can eat are so much different than women. Like, they just want to eat, con or, or just maybe another person in general, you know, because maybe you would eat at a certain time and the other person... And your times, like, are off, so you both end up, like, eating more than you normally would because you're both eating when the other person is hungry. I don't know, but, yeah, I definitely do find it hard. And, um, now he's talking about he's, because he's on a diet, and, um, but he does this. He goes through a cycle, and so do I, of, like, eating a lot and then cutting back and what he's thinking of doing is he's like maybe we should just do a huge blowout like once a week so I guess it's basically like he's talking about a cheat day just like a huge cheat day once a week and um I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna try it or what like I don't know what to do but I mean I'm fine honestly just physically I feel fine at this weight but I don't want it to just be constantly creeping up because literally like a year or two ago I was like 119 pounds so it's been creeping, creeping up. So I don't want it to just keep going up. There's just a cat sitting here in the middle of the parking lot at the gym looking at me. No one else is here. But yeah, I got up early because I have class today and I didn't get my homework done. Um, so I've got a plan. I actually made a to-do list last night. And so I've got this plan to get everything done today before my class and then I've got a plan for tomorrow and this weekend and so yeah if I can make it through this weekend getting this paper done I am I know I've been talking about this paper for a long time but I'm so close on this paper and also I was talking to the girl that I'm working on the paper with and I may be able to use this and another paper that she's working on as part of my dissertation. And if I did that, that would be like, I'm, I'm doing a three article dissertation. And if I'm doing that, then two of my articles are covered. And then I just need to make a third article. I mean, for the most part covered, like the main, all the like main work would be done through my job you know working because I'm working on this paper as part of my job and then um because we got a grant and it's you know covering my salary and so if I could get two articles out of this grant work for my job and then 
do a third article that kind of ties everything into my public policy program then oh my gosh that would make my dissertation like a million times easier and that would be insane so i don't know because she's saying that if like both people agree that each person did 50 percent of the work and honestly i feel like that on this paper i feel like we each have worked half and half to get this paper done and um if we could do that on both of the papers and then both use the research i mean i'd obviously have to change it and i'd focus more on my econ stuff um then like that would be amazing but i gotta ask my advisor if we could do that so that would give me more incentive to want to finish these papers because I don't know it's just been a struggle but but yeah um i'm up early i'm gonna go work out i made like a whole time frame of like what i want to get done today and so we'll see how it goes i think it's gonna go pretty well okay so seriously what a difference an hour makes <laughs> because there's literally nobody on the road so driving was super easy and then um nobody at the gym whenever I got there I used to get there this early like but I feel like there was always like there would be people there sometimes um but there was nobody there for like almost all of my walk for at least the first 30 minutes. And then, so it was just like quiet. Also, the gym didn't have the music on. Like, I don't know if that was just like something was going wrong today, but like, I don't know if it's all Anytime Fitness, but this Anytime Fitness has the worst music and it's always just blasting. So for me to read, I have to put my headphones in and I've just got like some, um, kind of white not white noise but like just some sound in the background to keep you know everything else filtered out and um yeah there was no music on today nobody there it was just really nice <laughs> and so I got my steps done um I had a bunch of papers I brought in to like it was like mostly stuff I was rereading I think everything I was rereading um, just to refresh my brain so I can answer these uh, problem set questions. I also did a story post on Instagram, which I used to be really active on Instagram, but I've gotten away from it over the past couple of years. And I'm thinking I want to start getting just a little bit more active on there, but I don't know. Anyway, I did a, a story post for the first time in a long time. Well, like a personal story post sometimes I'll like share memes or different posts that I find but I used to like do a lot more personal posts like keeping up with my life or whatever a little bit like I never like put too much out there but um, yeah I don't know I think I may try to get a little bit more active I'm thinking that I might want to post more when I go to LA to visit my sister because there's a lot more like vegan food options and stuff and my Instagram page is mostly like vegan and low waste is kind of the theme of it and so since there'll be more options out there and my sister said she's already planned like a bunch of, of stuff for me so I think it's gonna be pretty cool I'm pretty excited um, I think this is really one of the first times like my sister and I are both financially stable at the same time, which is crazy because like it seems like, you know, the economy and everything is pretty bad right now, but we're both at a place where we're not like super like doing great, but like we're both pretty stable right now. So this will be, I think the first time we can kind of hang out and enjoy our time together without like worrying about you know, oh my God, this is going to put us in so much debt, but 
anyway sorry i don't know that was kind of off topic but it's something i just realized right now and i don't know if my cat is in front of me i hope he's not anyway i'm gonna get to work um it's 5 24 so my plan my goal is to be sat down and start working by 6 30 so that's what i'm gonna try to do and then hopefully get all my homework done hopefully get some work done and have a really productive day it's also the new moon so i'm feeling pretty good so maybe this is gonna be a kickoff to a good moon cycle <laughs> i don't know anyway okay so it's about one o'clock and i've been pretty busy today um i've actually gotten a lot done i got some of my work done and then i've been working on i got my problem set done for my class and now I'm working on a case study. I've already read this a couple times, so now I've just gotta like write up a little brief about it. Um, I've already started on that, so I should be able to be done. My goal is to get this done by three, so I've got two hours, depending on how my brain works. My brain seems to be working pretty good today, so I think it should be doable. And I was wondering about what I was gonna do for food because I was a little bit hungry like an hour or two ago, but I was like, ah, let me get this homework done before I eat because eating can mess up my, you know, mental ability sometimes. Um, but uh, my roommate just went and ate with um, some of his friends and he brought me back, uh, he got a quesadilla and he has one piece left. So I'll go ahead and eat that. And then I may or may not eat a purple carrot meal before I, um, go up to uh class so we'll just see i'm trying to decide like if i want to bring a soda with me but i haven't had soda in a few days so i'm afraid to like break that barrier i've definitely had some like mild cravings a few times and there's been a couple of times where i've thought about like just grabbing one today but you know um i just kind of drank some water instead and the craving went away so I'm leaning towards not bringing one with me. I, sh I shouldn't. I shouldn't bring one with me. Because if I don't have one with me, then I won't drink one. And I don't think I'll stop and get one anywhere. So, yeah. Um, we'll see what I do. But let me show you the uh, quesadilla real quick. Stressed before going to class was because um, 
my roommate was uh, possibly going to be getting a new car. And so I had to drop him off at the dealership before class. And that kind of came up last minute. And so, you know, I kind of had to scramble around to get everything together in time so I could go drop him off. And so, yeah, it's really cool. I'll show, I might make a video just about it because I think the car is really cool. I don't know whether to call it a car or a truck. It's a um, Hyundai Santa Cruz. And we actually, this all happened really quickly because we had seen one at, uh, when we went to go get sushi the other day, there was one in the parking lot and I'd never seen one before. And so we looked at it, you know, we kind of drove by and checked it out and we just thought it looked really cool. It's like a mix between a car and a truck. And he's been looking, like, he liked it. He has a Tacoma and he liked the Tacoma, but there was just a couple things that were bothering him. It just wasn't really the most comfortable drive day to day. But we like the fact that I have a car for like long distance driving and then he has the truck, you know, for his daily driving. He doesn't normally drive like long distances. And then we've got a truck available if we need to haul some things. But this thing, I think it has like a four foot bed which isn't huge, but it's big enough to haul things if we need it, you know, what we would need his truck for. And um, I think you could get a tow kit put on it, so, you know, you could get a little trailer and pull it if you needed it. But yeah, we watched a YouTube video and I just thought like, wow, this looks really cool. And there were some features on it that he didn't have in his truck. And so, he went and checked one out and they didn't really have the one that he wanted so we didn't really know if he was gonna get one or not but he had filled out like all the paperwork and they said that they could finance him but they just didn't have like a car available and so apparently they have one and apparently it was the one he liked today so he got it and yeah so I'm kind of excited to be able to get home and check that out It's a car, but also kind of a truck. It's 
Okay, so it's about 4.40 and I did get up early. I've kind of been up since 3.45, but I kind of hit snooze and stayed in bed until about 4. Um, didn't get a lot of good sleep. I got six hours of sleep, which is not bad, which is probably on par with the amount of sleep that I used to get. But over the past year or so, I've been getting about seven to eight hours of sleep most nights. So it's a little bit less, but now that I'm up and around, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I don't have my phone holder in my car today, but I just pulled up to the gym because um, I'm driving his car and it's so cool. I actually really, really love it. And he told me I can drive it whenever I want when he's not driving it so I probably will take advantage of that there's some things that I still like a little bit better about my car but it is a pretty cool car to drive um but yeah I didn't bring anything to read today I just I don't have anything pressing to read right now I probably could read some articles about my what I'm writing my paper on but I just I didn't have anything ready so I just decided to go. I'm probably going to just like watch YouTube videos or scroll through TikTok or Instagram or something. And I mean, it's Friday, so, you know, whatever. But I mean, I'm up early. I have all my classwork done and everything. So, yeah, hopefully I can just get a lot of progress made on the paper and hopefully get it finished up today. So, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so it's Sunday, July 31st. Don't remember if I made any videos on Friday or Saturday. I guess we'll see. I stitched this together, but um, yeah, part of the reason I haven't been making videos is because I've been driving the Santa Cruz to the gym, and so like these morning videos don't get made, and then I've been busy um, with work and trying to finish up my class um, during the day, and so I just haven't really had time, but overall, I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm on, like, a diet right now, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to figure out a way to eat while living with another person and still enjoying my time with the other person, but not overeating at the same time because I don't know if I mentioned this in a video earlier this week or if it was last week. I think part of my struggle, like whenever I'm alone, and I don't know, maybe for some people this is the opposite, but like whenever I'm alone living by myself, I have, n I don't really have any problems managing my weight. Um, I also don't really have that many friends. <laughs> so like going out to eat with friends and things like that, like, you know, I don't have all of these social things that some people do that kind of like makes them more likely to eat at times that they're not really hungry, not really craving food. So, um, yeah, whenever I'm living alone, like my weight tends to just like go down naturally. But then, you know, since like living with another person, it's harder just because they eat at different times or they want to go out and eat and so many social things like revolve around food and even when we're just watching TV at night you know you feel like you need to eat at that time whereas whenever I'm by myself sometimes I would watch TV at night sometimes I would just work or just like scroll on my phone or do things alone that didn't weren't more associated with eating I guess but I like the routine that me and my roommate have together like it's kind of a nice routine but it's also like maintaining my weight is not as easy 
with this routine. So I'm trying to, even though I like the routine, I'm trying to change parts of the routine to make it to where I'm not as likely to gain weight by eating as much, I guess, if that makes sense. And this week I think it's been pretty good. I think I just, what I've changed about this week is so you know the last month I was trying the alternate day fasting and I the longer I get away from it like like I said there were parts that I liked about it I liked it when I was really busy because on those days that I was really busy but I would still struggle at the end of the night a little bit on most days but then I felt like on the days that I was eating I had to overcompensate you know a little bit and for some cases a lot <laughs> and so overall I don't think that's like the best way to go some people that may work out for them but for me I don't think it works for me I think it just like screws up my eating like I just want to get to a way where I'm eating every day that I'm not like having to consciously think so much about you know am I eating today am I not eating today am I you know whatever I'd like to just get to kind of like a system to where I've done with my clothes where I'm kind of like I don't know I heard a long time ago and maybe this is true or maybe it's not Gabby get out of the way see this is one thing that I like about the Santa Cruz is there's a camera in there that um and now I'm kind of wondering, I'm like, are there features on my car that I just haven't paid attention to? But there's a button you can push that shows like the camera on the screen and you can see like directly in front of you. And so I would know if the cats have gotten out of my way. And like the thing that I probably love, that's what I love the most about the car is the cameras. Like they, anyway, I'll do a whole video about the car, I think, because I'm just, I'm really impressed with it. But uh, back to what I was saying, I had seen something a while back where they someone was talking about how Anderson Cooper eats the same meals every single day. And a part of me, all these people are like, oh, that's so crazy. How can it's supposed to be so boring eating the same thing every day? But a part of me was like, that would be nice. You know, like you don't have to think about what you're eating. You don't have to worry about am I eating too much? Am I eating too little? Am I going to gain weight? You know, like you just find a meal that like has all the nutrition that you need and you just eat it every day. But I was just like, I don't know how like practical that would be for most people because people get different cravings. But I'm wondering if you have a meal that's like got all of your nutrition that you need, would you have all of these extra cravings? Maybe I need to look into what his meal is because the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know what, what I liked about fasting was that aspect of not having to think about food or plan around food or anything like that, which is what I love about my clothing routine, wearing pretty much the same thing every day. There's no stress, you know, until you get to this, you don't realize how much stress there is in like choosing your outfits and committing all day to the outfit that you've chosen that was another thing like I remember through high school and like even in college and working you know you would pick an outfit and then you might get into the day you might get to work and be like oh my god my shoes are hurting my feet like I chose the wrong shoes today or I don't feel comfortable in this today or you know just just things like that whereas when you have an outfit that you know you're comfortable in there's none of those extra thoughts or things bothering you about your outfit or maybe it's just me but <clears throat> I would like to get to a place where I do that with my food and I don't think this is it I need to find some some way to do it maybe maybe I'll, what does Anderson Cooper eat <laughs> if that's what, if it's he he eats the same thing every day and I doubt he's vegan, so what I ideally I would like to find a vegan version of whatever this like hypothetical ideal meal for me is. 
and eat it every day but i will say so far this week i feel really good because for the most part i've gotten off of processed food i've gotten off of fast food i've been off of sodas for a week and I don't have a craving. So this is one thing that I've noticed multiple times. It's just sometimes this is easier or harder for me. Is when I get off of the bad food. Off of the processed food. The high sugar food. The, the fast food. Things like that. I don't have those cravings anymore. And it is a lot easier to not overeat because I'm not having those cravings for that stuff anymore and I feel like that's where I'm at now like I feel like now I'm over my cravings and so now it's just kind of fine-tuning that I'm almost out of my purple carrot meals though so I need to probably plan today what to eat i wonder if i'm getting a delivery in wednesday because i i need to get online and check and see because i skipped several deliveries because i was getting behind so i don't know but yeah one thing that i've been doing is instead of eating sushi with my roommate for the past few days I will go with him to eat because I've been bad. I've been bad about the waste. I didn't like the waste of him bringing home the sushi every day. So I've been going with him and instead of eating sushi, I just get a uh, onion soup. And if I eat the onion soup and drink the water so far, I haven't had the extra cravings to want to eat the sushi and so instead of getting three rolls he's just been getting two rolls which his ideal is probably like it's not two and a half he he can eat an extra two or three rolls of the third roll but I'm just like don't get the third roll because I don't want to waste food just get the two rolls and so that's been working out to where I'm not eating the sushi for lunch I'm eating the onion soup and it's getting me by not making me feel like sluggish or anything which the sushi doesn't um, normally for some reason, but I really want to try to get back to being vegan, like fully vegan, ideally like whole food, plant-based, just healthy food. But yeah, now I'm rambling. And yeah, I guess I'm going to just go inside and finish uh where is he going maybe just moving his car but um my plans for today I worked all day yesterday on homework for my class because my class officially I had my last class yesterday and I got my last like essay like homework assignment finished I spent basically all day working on class stuff and then um we got our study guide last night and so I took that to the gym and just started kind of reviewing the study guide and so I have to take my exam which it's not released yet he's supposed to release it today and I was gonna try to take it today I was gonna try to get the study guide done this morning and then take the exam today but I think I'm gonna just spend next week reviewing parts of the study guide and then maybe take it on Thursday or Friday I think it'll be okay I think it'll be pretty easy so we'll see how it goes but um yeah Friday I okay I have a whole thing I'm going to talk about but I don't think I'm going to talk about it on here I'm redoing how I do my habit tracker so I make some videos where I have a monthly habit tracker and I'm changing it up just a little bit so I've already done it like I've already reset my habit tracker got my goals for the next month um and everything lined out and I'm working and I think the way I've done it I think I'm really going to be able to get a lot accomplished over the next um few weeks and I feel really good about it if I could get everything done that I have on that list I'm going to be in a really good place I'm really motivated right now to do that and it doesn't really have that much to do with my weight or working out or anything like that it's more about like work school and getting stuff done around the house um and I feel like once I get those things in line 
then I can start focusing on my diet and working out and trying to get in shape for potentially competing at some point within the next year or two. And um, so yeah, I feel really hopeful for the coming month and for hopefully finishing out the rest of the year and starting 2023 in a really good place to really be able to get a lot accomplished. So yeah, I'm going to go in and get get working on that and uh, I'll probably, this will be probably part, the ending part of a video that I'm going to make um, with an update with my measurements. I don't know how much they're going to change or anything. So since I haven't really been paying too much attention, I haven't lost a lot of weight. Uh, it's just been kind of staying steady, but, or I don't know, I guess we'll see whenever I post all the clips together, but anyway, uh, I will, uh, just keep going, keep, uh, documenting the progress, which is, I'm not really, I don't have, you know, like a diet or anything specifically that I'm focusing on right now it's just my life and trying to get through school and trying to be as healthy and stress-free as possible so i will post another update next week <laughs>